Hi everybody, Joe Two Trees here. Uh, I'm just going to make a quick video here. I know I haven't been on for a long time and uh, that's going to change. But uh, there's a little urgency here of something here. Um, um, I have a friend uh, called uh, Camo on YouTube and he he's into knife making and sheaths and so forth and he inspired me and I got to thinking a few things and I have some ideas I just want to show you here. It's kind of a unique idea. I've never seen it before so maybe I'll be the first one. And what inspired me was this right here. This is a um, the leather uh, bone from Ben here which I'm going to give to him in a second here. But this is, you can buy this, I paid like uh, next to nothing for this, 25 cents or whatever. And it's uh, leather, it's cow, and it's solid as can be, you know. What I do with it is you take this bone, you stick it in the water, in a bucket, uh, warm water, cold water, doesn't matter, and usually within an hour or so, the longer you soak it, the better, but it, you, the minimum is at least an hour, and then you just untie it. Okay, let me give that to Ben here. We'll take it, and the result is uh, a piece of leather. Now this leather, after you soak it, this was one of those bones, it was a little bigger, and a slight a little bit lighter, but it was rolled up like a bone and it was tied in a knot on both ends. Now, what I have now is an excellent piece of cowhide, which is very, very strong. And I'll show you what the, what the benefit of this versus uh, leather that you buy in a store that's already been uh, chemically treated and whatnot. Okay, and what I've been working on is this. Okay, and this is a more uh, 510, whatever. I took the um, knife, the finger guard. I don't like those. But anyhow, what I did is you take the leather when it's wet and you just take it out and you just dry it in a towel. And you can cut it to any size you want and you can fold it and you can cut it and make it any, any design. And then what you do is you take a. I'll show you here what I did. I'm working on a, another work in progress. Uh, an axe sheath. And again, this is the same material. What you do is you take a strip of the um, along the edge, and what I usually do is, as a general rule, I have it slightly wider than the than the thickness of the leather. And as it, it when it's if it's you, you want it flexible, so you want it damp, wet. You don't you know you don't want to if you leave it out, sit out overnight. By the next morning, it'll be too dry. What you do is you cut a nice strip. And then what I do is I get the general shape. And I always start. I don't. I don't cut out the whole. I leave plenty of extra because at the end, when I after I fit this into place, when I'm finished sewing it, depending on how much how tight it is, then I have extra to, to go here, and then I can trim off the extra after. That's going to be a knife sheath. And all you do is I use an awl, my Swiss Army knife here. You can use any kind of awl, and you just poke a hole through both sides. And now the benefit of working with wet leather is after you make your two holes, don't you just no, no panic, no stress. You make always make sure you have a good sharp point on the end of your thing. You just cut it at an angle, and then what you do is you take your after you make your holes through. Then you ready when you're ready to do your sewing. You poke your hole through again and just run it through very carefully and just just to widen the hole and it, it will expand for a few seconds, and that's enough to run your um, thread through. Okay. And then, again, as you're pulling it through, don't, don't get in the habit of just pulling it through because this, this is strong, but it will break if you really use pliers and whatnot. So what I do is, I, as I'm pushing it through, I roll it so it gives, instead of a, a flat square effect, you roll it a little bit. And that, that just mushes it down and it makes it more round. And as you push it through, you, you, can, you work your way up. Okay? And when you're done, what I usually do, the last knot is just a simple like this and then back through and you can actually go through several. Now that's what I did on this knife here. Now this is now this knife here is solid as a rock. It's as hard as any plastic you're going to get but it's natural and I like that. Now it, it, being that it's untreated it's almost, you can't say it's clear but this can be stained and whatnot. Now this, this after this dries this is as hard as any binding you'll ever get on anything and what you do is as it starts to dry, like overnight, you put your knife in where you want it, okay? Then you put a clamp 
about here, let's say. You don't need to clamp all the way down because what you what I'm trying to you don't want it so tight near the tip, but you want it a little bit tight in the middle so as to make it and it will not come out no matter what you do, okay? But it, you can feel that it, it, it molds to, the, to your knife, and then you just, you can actually tie a little string around it to make it a little tighter. And then as it dries, you see that th this is as hard as a rock. You can't, I can't even bend that. Now, I made this into a neck knife, okay? Now, the only mistake I made is this little tab here, I should have put it on the side so it lays flat, whereas now it lays in this position, which is okay. And a neck knife is good because it's, it's easy to hide and whatnot. And if you're worried about losing it, you just take this little loop right here. And you just flip it over. And that will ensure that that knife ain't going anywhere. You, you could fall in any which way. That knife ain't coming out. Okay? So that was just my idea. And as it dries, and it only takes uh, 24 hours, and it's, as hard as, it's just as hard as when you buy it in this form here. It just goes right back to its shape. And the good thing is, is you can mold this to any size, any type of knife you have. Now, I made this for this particular one. This is a carbon steel knife and whatnot. And um, Now if you're afraid of... Uh, now the only problem with, is when you're using a carbon knife and that this is damp and you, what you want to do is you want to keep your knife in it as it dries to keep maintain the, the shape. So you may want to put a little um, Vaseline or something just to... But, the stain you can you can rub out. It's just, just don't let it get to you there. Okay, stainless or use the stainless steel. The same you can get the more in stainless. But I just wanted to show that with you here. It's a good little um, handy knife. And if you like, if you're into making natural, uh, I'm, I'm tired of all the plastics, although they're good. But this is uh, very personal, and you can do you can stain it, you can paint it, you can shellac, you can do anything with it. And of course, if it gets wet. It would take like soaking for you know an hour in the water for it to get loose again like this, and um, you just let it dry and it'll come right. It'll take back this form in no time. Okay. Another quickie knife sheath, if you ever wanted to, is which I've made before. Is just a you take your knife like this, you get it to where about where you want it, and you can just roll it up like this. Cut it off. You can you can form it, and you just tie string around. And when it dries, you'll have a dry like a tube, form fitted to your knife. You don't have to even sew it, and away you go. You don't even have to sew it because it will it will maintain that very tight uh, thing. So it's just a good idea, and it's totally. I mean, you can I can make tons and tons. And like I said, I'm working on this um, this axe sheath, which when I'm done. I really don't think I'll need a strap because this will be a form fitting just like a like the knife sheath. It just slips on and, and it'll keep it uh, when I sharpen this to a razor sharp edge, and I don't have to worry about it. And this it would really take a lot to when it's in my pack or anything to, to, to cut through this. I mean this is as hard as any plastic. So I hope uh, you enjoyed it and I hope I gave you some ideas out there. Till next time and I hope to be soon. And like I said, you can the leather that you use to sew it is uh, endless, so you just cut it off as you need it. Okay, I didn't want to go over the time limit, so... Okay, thank you.